Hello Geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to the video series on state machine using Boost State Chart Library. This is part 0 introduction to a state machine. Before we go ahead and start the code, let's first understand what are a state machine. A state machine or finite state machine is a scenario where the program consists of a limited number of states. At any point of time, the program is at one of the available state and the program can migrate from one state to another state. Let's understand it from the perspective of a person. In the beginning, the person is in a happy state. How will I know that the person is in a happy state? Uh, maybe I can see that the person is smiling, so I can conclude that the person is in a happy state. Sometime later, the person loses some money, which transforms the person from a happy state to sad state and how will i know i can see the facial expression and i can conclude that the person is in a sad state sometime later the person can get back the money and transform itself into a happy state once again the things uh, like lost money and got money are called events events are environmental things that triggers migration from one state to another state Definitely we will not transform ourselves from being happy to being sad in the same environmental situation. Something must have happened which transform our state from happy state to sad state. So the trigger points are called events. But who actually acts on transforming ourselves from happy state to sad state? It's our mind which handles the emotion and says that now we are in a sad state or happy state. In the terms of state machine, it is called event handler. So we talked about state events and event handler. In a nutshell, this is what a state machine looks like. So a state machine consists of a first state, set of available state like happy state and sad state, set of events like lost money, got money, and set of event handlers which transform us from one state to another state. So I hope I managed to clarify what a state machine is and what are state events and event handlers. Let's just go ahead and see the code. To create a program using boost state chart, we need to include the following header in our code. Remember that boost is a compile time inclusion of library. We are not going to link against any library at a runtime parameter. So we need to include these files before using the boost library. You can download the boost library and set the path of all these files so that it can be included. Now we'll try to write a code uh, based on our person example with a happy state and sad state. So first thing first, we'll create a state machine. So we can create a person state machine which should be derived from boost state chart boost state chart is namespace and with state machine so this boost library works on crtp pattern which is called curiously recurring template pattern if you are not very much aware about what crtp means please go ahead and see my video on crtp because all the state and events and state machine use this crtp pattern heavily so in as per CRTP pattern, we'll provide the name of the structure itself as a template argument to the base class. So I say person sm. And as you might have recalled from the picture earlier, that every state machine comes with a first state, which is the by default state when the state machine comes up, which state it will be in. So let's say I say it in happy state is my first state. So this is my state machine. It this is my state machine now i don't have happy state defined so let me do some forward declaration i'll just say happy state i'll define it later okay now let me go ahead and run this code build is successful so this is my very basic state machine some logistic since this is a long name boost state chart state machine there is a way to shorten it is like generally People do it as create a namespace called SC which is equal to 
boost state chart so in that case i'll just say sc over here so sc is state chart so that's the way i have created my state machine now let me create a state happy state so i'll create a state happy state it will also derive from simple state there are other state will look into those later simple state also works on crtp pattern which means it will take the name of happy state and the second parameter second template parameter tells that which state machine it belongs to so i just pass the name of the state machine so this is my happy state defined similarly i can create a sad state this is my sad state so basically i have created a state machine with two state happy state and sad state happy state is the default state of my state machine so when my state machine is instantiated it comes with a happy state and how do i call my state machine so i create an instance of personal state machine as sm and i say sm dot initiate okay and if i go ahead and run the code this is what happens that my state machine comes with a happy state i can check about whether the happy state comes into picture or not by creating a constructor over here i'll say in happy state and for sad state also i'll create the constructor so that i can see the output now let me go ahead and run the code you can say that in happy state is printed because the state machine is instantiated with the happy state now i need to trigger the uh, events called lost money or got money so let me create an event over here event is also created in the similar way let's say i create an event called lost money it will also derive from event and it also use this CRTP pattern. Let me just give a empty implementation. Similarly, I got, I'll create an event called got money. So now I have my state machine, I have my states, I have my events. But what is the missing thing that is required? We required an event handler that when this event is triggered, something should happen so that it will transform me from one state to another state. Before we create an event handler, let's see how we can trigger the event. So in the state machine, I can say sm dot process event. And in the process event, I can pass the event. Let's say lost money. I'll create an in place because I don't need this instance later on. So I just create the process event. Okay. so now if i just go ahead and run still it will say in happy state because it generates the event but there is no event handler so the event handler is created inside the state so it's created in this way we need to do a type def sc dot transition okay transition what is the event name lost money if this event come where to go sad state and this reactions you cannot change the name of this parameter because it's a template thing and the way it works that we cannot change the name of this reaction because it take this name to generate the code now it's giving me an error because i don't have a sad state defined so let me give a forward declaration of sad state too okay so now i am coming with a state machine with a first state called happy state and I am triggering an event called lost money. I am having an event handler for lost money in my happy state. Then I should move to sad state. So let's see what happens. If I go ahead and run the program now, you can see that now in sad state is being printed, which means that when I triggered the event, this line of code makes my state transfer from happy state to sad state similar code i can write it over here where in the sad state if i got money again i'll go, go back to happy state okay 
Now let me trigger one more event in the state machine which is called got money. And if I run the code now, you can see that first I was in happy state, then I lost money, I was in a sad state, then I got money again, I am in a happy state once again. So this is the very bare minimum state machine with couple of state and couple of event and event handlers which we can create using boost state chart. Don't you worry about the syntax. It's a very simpler syntax once you get used to it. Please get a feel of what CRTP looks like. In the later series of video, we'll look into more complex aspects of creating the state machine. So I hope I was able to explain what the state machine is and how it looks like and how we can create a bare minimum state machine using boost state chart. Thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. See you in next video. Thank you.